did the narcissist just ghost you? Literally, the hot and cold method is what keeps you addicted, right? They want you to be addicted to their beck and call. You being addicted to wanting to hear from them, wanting to talk to them, wanting to see them. So when they do this hot and cold method, that's literally to, like, get you addicted. There's a chemical reaction that goes off inside of your brain that's just as intense as somebody who has a heroin addiction. And that's why you have to understand to be gentle with yourself. Don't be hard on yourself if you're wanting so badly to talk with this person, wanting so badly to see this person. Like, at the end of the day, that hot and cold method, they knew exactly what they were doing, right? And it's okay if you feel the need that you want to reach out to them or talk to them, whatever. Don't ignore your feelings because your feelings, you just have to stand in the facts to understand, first off, who they are, stand in the fact that you can't control other people, and stand in the fact that you are a queen if you're a woman, if you're a man, you're a king. you, you got to know your value, know your worth, and understand that you deserve somebody to acknowledge you. You deserve somebody to communicate with you. You deserve somebody to appreciate you. You deserve somebody to give you the time and the energy that you are worthy of, right? But you have to see that first with inside of yourself. And that attachment style that you have with that other person is only oozing out energy to that other person of neediness, of not feeling enough, not feeling wor worthy. It's like you're telling the universe that, you're not enough, but you are enough. Because you're God's greatest creation. You have everything inside of you that you want from that other person inside of you. But you have to see that, right? And just because that person can't see that for themselves or can't see that what you what you what you are and your value and all this other stuff, that's okay. Because at the end of the day, everybody has free will to think and feel however they want to think and feel. That's why you have to leave people right where they are and understand that everybody has their own journey that they walk on. And there's no such thing as a forever. You're like, <laughs> it's the attachment style that gives us hurt and pain and anxiety and all this other th stuff that lowers our vibration to make us feel like empty or make us feel not good about ourselves or not happy. When really and truly that attachment style is what you need to figure out to let go and to heal from. Because if you don't figure out how to heal from that attachment style, that's what's going to keep you stuck and stagnant with other relationships as well that is going to be able to always have power and control over your mind and your emotion and always be able to affect you mentally and emotionally where they'll have the power of when you're happy and when you're not happy. And nobody should have that much power over you. So it's you sitting down to figure out how can you heal those parts with inside of yourself that has that attachment style with anything outside of you that will always steal your power of your happiness. Then if you want tips and tools on how to do that, trust and believe I'm, I work on myself every day how to detach and the power of detachment the power of understanding to heal your inner child i can share with you guys great tips and tools on how to do that you can always book a one-on-one -on -one with me my link is at the top of my tiktok page y'all stand in the facts to wise up and rise up to gain back power and control of your mind your emotions to heal yourself from that you know attachment style to you know heal yourself from you know that abandonment style and wanting others to see you and want you and understanding your value and understanding your work, your worth.